Hi, I'm Tada of Mother's Kyle Day. Mother's Kyle Day is Japanese, meaning you can still use it. So let's repair it yourself and save money, energy, and resources. Today, I'm gonna show you the replacement of the catalytic converter front side catalytic converter of 2003 to RAV4. Actually, I have been struggling with the catalytic uh, converter readiness of the OBD2. I had the intermittent uh, warning of the uh, P0420 and the P0430 that uh, the converter efficiency is low. And uh, but the, after changing the MAF, after changing the, the oxygen sensor, first I did was this, I changed the, all the four sensors oxygen and air fuel sensors and then i didn't have the code for a while but i never get the catalyst readiness and then i uh, the switched i mean they replaced the maf and then the, the fuel trim number got better but and i never got the code of uh, that the p0420 and p030 0430 but the, the catalyst uh, never get ready. So I decided to replace the catalyst, um, uh, catalytic converter finally, and the, that actually solved the entire problem. So this is how it went. After re replacing the uh, MF sensor, I drove about 343 miles, but I never got the catalytic converter readiness. So I decided to uh, change the, the converter. So I'm gonna reset it. First thing I'm gonna do is this, remove this heat shield. And since these threads are really rusted, so I'm gonna put the loop. So I see two more screws for the heat shield. I think this is the flange for the catalytic converter. I gotta put the uh, that the grease of uh, pen penetrating grease in it. While waiting, I'm gonna work on the sensors. I think I'm gonna remove the open the air filter box. I thought this cover is one piece to the bottom, but it looks like there's two pieces. So I can work on this flange. I'm gonna uh, disconnect the bottom one first. Okay, I removed both bolt here. I put the wooden blocks to hold that the muffler tube. Well, I thought I removed this guy, and uh, this it turned out this guy was doing nothing actually. 
There's no bolt attached to this the M engine, so that's bad. But this side, I think the there's a bolt attached to the engine, so I cannot access this bolt. So I'll try to find the better access. I decided to remove the oxygen sensor first. So. so I use the this offset wrench. Okay, I'm removing the other one also. Okay, looks like I could loosen the bolt there not there by wrenching from the top so i use the this wrench and i reach the nut the, uh, a little bit angled and then i could loosen it so that i'm gonna de loosen that and then the bottom part is done and i just need to uh, remove the top one okay now move on to the top this is 12 millimeter. Oh, so I got the this nut. It interferes with the alternator, but I'll try to use the wrench. So use try to use this guy. Nice, there we go. Okay, these are the old and new. So the problem is that the new one doesn't have any hardware welded to uh, put that shield. So that is a problem. I think and also this guy this guy is a bolt I think it's better to have this guy this way uh, with the bolt in that okay, I'm gonna put the the oxygen sensor first especially this part this side is really hard to access so it's easier to do that now Side. Put the anti seed grease. So I put the new gasket and I put the anti seed grease there. Okay, so I'm going to tighten this guy and according to the manual, uh, tightening torque is 27 so I'm going to try I don't know this guy is tough so I'm going to start with 15 since I cannot reach the torque range, I'm not going to reach here so I have to go with the, my sense that's bad Put 
the oxygen sensor. No, uh, the air fuel sensor. And 31 foot pounds. Okay, I'm going to move on to the bottom. As you can see here, the hose is totally misaligned. I don't think I can fit it here. So the, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use the bolt to mount the bottom part and also the exhaust. I gotta tighten these guys and this is feasible and fortunately this fit well so this is a good part but that part is is I don't think I can the mount this guy there so I gotta tighten this oh uh, so there the, the stopper for the thread so I'm gonna go to the end of the thread hit the end so I'm gonna switch to the torque wrench and 30 foot pounds okay okay I, I'm warming up the engine and now the coolant temperature is 80 degrees C and let's see the parameters long term term is it's kind of high it's not sold and the uh, air temperature is 42 degrees C and MAF 2.34 and oxygen sensor number is high so 0 0.895 previously it was I think 0 0.7 0 0.6 so the, this might be the good sign by replacing the catalyst. I hope this is the sign of solving the problem. And also the same for the oxygen sensor for bank two and the air fuel sensor as the voltage similar. Okay, I drove for 12.7 miles and now I got the, the, the all the readiness except for the catalyst i believe let's see the readiness oh catalyst is okay so it's a bop you know it's 19.5 less than 20 miles I, I just came back the same route uh with a uh, slower speed that's like a 50 to 55 miles and now i got the everything get ready so it looks like the the issue was the <coughs> catalytic converter. So now everything is ready. So I'm gonna get the smoke check now. So the, if you have the same symptom, I think you have to replace the catalytic converter even if you don't have the check engine lamp. And this as demonstrated here it's only less than 20 miles and everything got ready so the i hope you will if the catalytic converter is it's bad it's expensive but sooner or later you have the check engine problem so i think you it's better to replace it and save time uh because i i wasted so much time and gas at six total about thousand miles drawable <laughs> for the readiness test but I never get it and finally I ended up buying the catalytic converter so I hope you solved your problem and thank you very much for watching bye